generally this year of tornadoes in the Midwest and the Southeast has revealed again one of the toughest situations we face. There's this ongoing disconnect between what science tells us about risks in certain parts of the world where there are a lot of people and a lot of housing, a lot of investments, and what's being done to uh, limit losses. Whether you live in an earthquake zone like the Pacific Northwest or whether you live in Tornado Alley, there's things you can do to change outcomes if the worst should happen. In the Northwest, the school design changes are just mainly a function of investment. You know, having a community and voters who are willing to invest a little more in retrofitting schools or building new ones when you can that have more durability, that will be more likely to stand up. And in tornado zones, there's organizations like the, the National Storm Shelter Association, very easy to Google for, National Storm Shelter Association, that have uh, designs uh, that have been tested at universities in Texas and that FEMA, the Federal Emergency Agency, knows about. That can You can build sort of a safe room in a, in a house if you're build, building a new house or even retrofitting an old one that can give you a little better sense of um, what to do. There are people, uh, emergency planners I've talked to who said just having a weather radio that has an alarm that sort of buzzes when there's a warning, that can get you through toward seeking shelter. Mostly it's about heeding the forecasts too. We live at a time when we miraculously almost uh, meteorologists have gotten the capacity to look at the conditions that make a day or a week ripe for this kind of activity. And when that happens, that's a great time for you and your family to get serious about reviewing your plan for what to do if the worst does happen.